everyone how are you welcome to beyond the cloud in today's video we will be focusing on users and groups management in microsoft intra id we will walk you through the process of creating azure users and groups helping you to streamline the identity and access management within your organization so by the end of this tutorial you will know how to effectively set up and manage users and groups in azure so this is my very first video on Microsoft Azure and hopefully many more to come. So let's dive in. Uh, if you are new to this channel, kindly like, share, subscribe and comment your thoughts. Let me know what you liked and what you didn't. I will try to make some recommended videos from you guys if you have any. So sit tight and enjoy. So in this particular lab, what we will do, we will focus on this Azure uh, user creation and group creation in an intra ID. So previously, this Intra ID, Azure Intra ID, uh, was known by Microsoft Active Directory, and it was renamed to Intra ID. And it was same like how to create an user and a group uh, in a particular Intra ID. Uh, we will go through that. So an Intra, um, uh, so as you can see in this picture. So first of all, we will create a group, uh, and then within that group, we will create a an user, and we will add that user to the group, and we will create a new user. Then we will also add the particular user to the intra ID group and we will also make the newly added user as an owner of this intra ID group. Microsoft intra ID uh, was previously known as, as Active Directory and it can hold multiple things. So uh, in the Azure portal, if you search for uh, intra ID, you will be able to see that the intra ID can consist of user groups and applications. In this particular lab we will mainly focus on users and groups rather than the applications also uh, uh, this can uh, also the resources also can be you know, tagged to this intra id like the subscription resource group applications uh, as i mentioned uh, but the main focus of this uh, particular lab is to you know, have this users and group modify or edit the user to a particular group how to do that uh, and this is the focus on this uh, lab uh, to make you understand more about why this hands-on lab is important, uh, just uh, I'm giving you one scenario. Like to uh, you work as a system administrator, senior system administrator, and the management of the Microsoft Intra ID is one of your main uh, responsibilities. So, uh, as a senior team member, uh, it's also important that you share the knowledge with other colleagues um, of your team. So, your manager has recently asked you to provide a walkthrough. Uh, of basic user management tasks uh, for a group of new help desk team member uh, so that you can leverage your couple of responsibilities to them uh, and using an empty demonstration microsoft intra id tenant you have come configured you are going uh, through the following steps like the creating a new user modifying an existing user account uh, revoking accounts uh, access for the users and deleting user accounts so these are the uh, following steps you can also demonstrate you know, to help understand the new help desk team member that how the management of the users and group of intra id works uh, first of all we will create a you know, intra id user also we will create a uh, intra id group then we will modify the intra id user we will add the user to the group then we will block or revoke the intra id user from the session and then we can delete the intra id user so I hope you know that what is Intra ID in Azure or what is Intra ID or Active Directory previously uh, in Azure. So if you don't know that, uh, please uh, went uh, go through the uh, documentation that um, uh, Azure have uh, and get some idea about what is an Intra ID. And if you don't know about Intra ID at all, please write me in the comment section uh, so that I can make a video out of it. What uh, what is an Intra ID? Uh, so I hope you will uh, enjoy this video. So let's go to the um, hands-on. So first of all, uh, if you uh, if you are already aware of Microsoft Azure, then you know this portal. So this is the Azure portal where we will configure the Intra ID. Uh, so you can you can so the two way you can go to the Intra ID. So I can so as I have already worked with Intra ID, it will come here, or you can just search it here the Intra ID then the microsoft intra id will come up and if you just click on it then the uh, tenant will be shown on which tenant we are working on so we are working on real active directory labs p1 uh, this tenant and here on the left hand side you will see the users and groups the current scenario or the current lab uh, the one that we will be uh, working on 
So in the in a particular tenant, you will be able to see that the tenant name, the tenant ID, um, the applications associated with the tenant. Yeah, but that's a different topic altogether. Uh, we were not going through it. Uh, so the main topic today uh, is to how to configure the users and group um, in this um, uh, intra ID or the active uh, intra ID. Yeah. Uh, so uh, first of all, uh, as I said, we will create a group. So how to create a new Microsoft intra ID group? So on the left hand side we have use on under manage uh, we have users and groups so first of all click on uh, groups and then when you click on group you will see that there is currently no group or nothing uh, you click on this new group so first of all we will create a new group and then the uh, group type is security is this is fine just leave it as it is you can do it you can give it uh, any other name as well so uh, and the group name you can uh, you can type the group name here the like, let me type in the group name as internship program so i am typing the group name as internship program and the group description is you can give the group description as well or you can leave it as it is or you, we can give it as this is a group for internship program so that's it mm, i don't want to change anything and then uh, the no owners are selected there is no member at all because we did not created any user or we did not add any user to this uh, group right now so we will leave uh, everything as it is and we will create uh, the group so after successful so if the group is created successfully it will show you a banner like successful created group and then I can cross it and I just refresh this one and our group will appear. So our interns, internship program group uh, is appearing here. So if you click on this, uh, you will be able to see the information about the group. Now this is fine. Now we will go back to our tenant and we see that under groups, our newly created group is appearing. This is fine. Now, uh, now let's add a user uh, to the group. So how to do that under groups. So let's go to the group uh, on which we will add the user. So select the group and we currently see on the left hand side under manage there is members and currently there is no member. So I can add, I will add myself whatever the login that I am, I have uh, logged in uh, to this tenant. I will add that particular user to the group. So how to do that? So uh, on the top, uh, on the top there is a add member section. So uh, if you click on that. And if you search for cloud underscore user, the one that I have currently uh, logged into, this is the cloud student user. So I will select that and this is the user. Uh, you can verify the username uh, here uh, with this one, D A T D A. This is fine. So this is the cloud student user and I will select this user to the group and then the member, it will appear that the member added successfully. Uh, I will refresh a couple of, it takes actually some time to uh, show it here. Now I can see that the cloud student has been added uh, as a member to our internship program group. This is fine. So this is how you can add a user or already created user to uh, this group. Now uh, in the next uh, one, we will create a user. So we are back into our tenant and on the, on the left hand side, we have users and under users, uh, we will create a new user. Uh, we don't want to work with the cloud student all the time. So to create a new user, you select this new user, uh, create a new user. And then on the principal name, uh, we can give uh, the principal name as cloud, maybe cloud intern, then uh, mentor. Uh, this is the I uh, we will not change any uh, domain uh, here then the nickname is also fine the display name maybe we will change it to uh, intern mentor this is fine and the password you can view the password uh, what is that and you can also uh, copy the password or also you can give the password of, you know, of whatever you want so that the auto generate password you just uncheck and the auto generation will be off then you can give uh, whatever password you want uh, for that particular user 
or you can auto generate it, auto generate it as well and just copy the password for the next uh, for um, your next assignments uh, but we don't actually we will not work with the password right now in this lab so this is not uh, that much important and then we will uh, select on the next properties and we will not change anything and then we will just select review and create uh, so here you can see that uh, we have given the principal name, the display name, uh, the nickname is already there and the password is also there and we will just create. So we have created a new user and it shows that the successfully the user is created. Uh, and if we just refresh this page, uh, I, I, as I said, Azure takes some time to get the uh, users updated. So you see that the new intern member is here and this is our newly created user. Now on this next part, uh, we will modify a couple of properties of the newly created user. So first of all, what you go, what you can go, uh, we can go back to tenant uh, just from starting uh, from the beginning and go back to users and under users, you will be able to see that our newly created user is the intern mentor. And this intern mem member, uh, you can go to the, this is the overview page and you can, uh, from the top, you can select this edit properties. And you can just change the display name. You can give it a first name, maybe uh, A, B, C. Uh, the last name is kind of X, Y, uh, uh, Z, uh, or whatever. You can you can change it there, and then you can save uh, the user. The user first name and last name has been changed. Uh, it is successfully changed. This is what it is, uh, it is showing. And if you go to properties, you see the first name and last name has been changed. You can again go to uh, overview and you can just reset the password. The password is being reset. It will show you the uh, it will show you the message that the reset password will do, and then you can reset the password. Uh, then if you click on the reset password, it will give you a temporary password. That this password is the new password. You can copy the password and whenever you will sign in with the user on the next attempt, you have to change the password. So this is how you can change a couple of properties of your newly created users uh, that's also you can do uh, now the next part what we will do we will go back to the group and then we will add this newly created user to the group so if you remember we have created this group internship program and under this group we have only one user that the cloud user so this member we have this cloud student this is the uh, user currently we have we can add more member to it we can select for intern and you see this is the user intern member that we have created and we have selected now this user and we select now you see that member successfully added if we refresh couple of times apart from cloud student the intern member will appear here as well so let's wait for some time yeah now you see uh, the intern member also appeared uh, here now, uh, uh, so under this group, under this internship program group, we have two users and both of them are member, but we want someone to own this group. So we have not added any owner to that group. How to do that? We can also add in an owner uh, to that group. So to add owner, we can just add, uh, click on add owner and then give this cloud student, maybe the cloud student, me as an owner to this group. And then we select this one and then it is done if we refresh couple of times so it takes some time so i really uh, yeah okay so this is the uh, cloud student user it is now the owner you know, of that uh, group it is also a member and it is also an owner of that group now uh, everything is fine uh, so yeah it, this is this is the I, I find it really a bug in azure that sometimes it appears and sometimes not so anyway uh, so now what we will do, we will revoke access uh, to the Microsoft Enter ID user account. So from what, so what we can do, uh, we can go to again to the tenant, uh, to the user, uh, select our user, intern mentor, and this is the user that we will revoke session. And if you want to uh, revoke the session that in then it will ask you that if you want to revoke all the sessions from the user that the currently current users are signing on if you have signed on in any other applications uh, from this user id that will also be revoked uh, then if you select yes 
then the session will be revoked the all the sign in session will be revoked uh, so this user um, do not have any active sessions mention, uh, maintain now this is also fine now uh, if you but the user exists uh, if you go to users uh, under manage again the users uh, you will be able to see our intern member uh, users is still there now what we want to do uh, we want to delete the user so we have created this user we have added the user to the group we have uh, added the other user to the owner of the group now we want to delete the user so if we want to delete the user so we go back to the users and then there is a button called delete and it will ask you that uh, deleting will remove all the users permission and access and uh, up to 30 days yeah, so uh, if you delete a particular user you can reinstate back the user up to 30 days after deletion so this is a nice feature actually and if you just confirm uh, then it will delete the user so the user is successfully deleted now let's refresh couple of time and the user is gone so this is how uh, so this is how you actually uh, delete a particular user now uh, so suppose uh, on this uh, suppose you want to see uh, that from where i can again uh, restore back the user so um, on the left hand side under manage uh, we have this so you have to first of all you have to go to users and, and on the under manage uh, you see this deleted user and under deleted user you will be able to see that intern member is there so this intern member this will permanent permanent uh, so today is 24th of may and it will be permanently deleted on 23rd of june that means we have 30 days of time and under this if you select this particular user this is there is two option one is deleted delete permanently so it will delete the user then and there and if you want to restore the user so it will restore back the user to our users so these two options you can do and you can also do bulk restore selecting multiple users and then do bulk restores as well so this is the nice feature really have uh, yeah, azure have to restore back the user to our group or to our tenant so this is what i wanted to show you uh, in an um, azure entra id how to use um, how to uh, uh, add users and group and how to manage users how to change their properties how to revoke session how to restore the password how to change the password how to uh, add a user to the group uh, or add a user to the owner of the group this is what i wanted to show you i hope uh, you really enjoyed this video um, i will be back with another exciting video uh, so till then uh, take care and goodbye and one more thing if you are new to this channel kindly like share subscribe and give me your thoughts um, uh, on what you liked and what you didn't uh, let me know in the comment section if you want to know more about the Microsoft Entra ID and what is its uh, property and everything. Uh, I will try to make a recommendation video out of uh, you guys. Um, so, um, so till then, take care and goodbye.